All right, you asked for a video on the text-to-screen. I did a video the other day, and I had quite a few people uh, send me private messages and, and regular messages too, comments and so forth, asking me if I would uh, do a, a video on this and how it works, why I got it, and so forth, and what it's going to cost you. Um, I'm going to try to jam all this information into 10 minutes, so I, I may not get to every single little detail that it uh, does, but I'm going to try to get as much in as I can. The reason why I bought text to screen uh, to begin with, the software, was because I was doing uh, teen dances every single Sunday, every single summer for the past 10 years. So it was, I mean, it was burnout. I was doing it every Sunday, all summer long for 10 years. It was crazy. And the biggest thing at these teen dances, these kids love to text, 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 text. You can't get them away from their phones. And now it's starting to catch on finally with text messaging and emails and things with adults being uh, between age 35 and 50. They're finally getting the Blackberries and the iPhones now. What's up with that? Before you know it, I mean, it's going to be second nature anyways. Everybody's going to be text messaging. Everybody's going to have a Blackberry or an iPhone. Uh, a phone that's internet compatible, whatever it may be. So why not grab a piece of that market share? By that I mean with this software you can advertise with it, you can uh, get advertisers to pay for their advertisement on the screen while all the text messages are coming through and so forth. It's an opportunity for you. And I was at a DJ conference in Atlantic City and saw a company that did this type of software, you know, did the whole text to screen kind of thing. And it was really expensive. Now, I will say this software, it's, uh, it's not cheap either, but it's, uh, it's a great investment for your company. We're going to get right into it right now. So here we go. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod here real quick. And this is an HD camera, so if I shake it around a little bit, um, I'm sorry. I know that when you do that with an HD camera, it looks like you're having a seizure. But things that are needed. You need a cell phone. It has to be a Motorola phone. This is an ancient one, but it works well. It has to have a SIM card on the back on the AT&T or the sister company. I think it's, what, Singular um, Network. You have that hooked up with your USB cable to your computer. You need a computer, obviously. You can put this on your stretch screen. You can put this on flat screen, LCD, plasma monitors, whatever you want to. Uh, hook it up to your projector and so forth. Uh, right into the software now. It's from a company called FireText. Visit them online at firetext.tv. Uh, I am not getting any kickbacks from this. I promise you that. But if you do call them up, tell them DJ Bo sent you. Um, and he put a, um, a video on YouTube about it. Um, and uh, I'd, I'd appreciate that because they don't think that I, I tell other people about the software, which I do. Um, I will say one thing about their uh, company, though. Uh, the customer service is slow, so be prepared for that. Um, you want to learn this software inside and out, all right? Uh, talk to Dale, talk to Raul, uh, great staff there. I, I love the guys there. They're, they are very nice. Right to the software now. Over here on the left-hand side, we're going to go over all the columns, all these tabs. Inbox, that's everything that comes to the system. Oh, by the way, don't forget, you're going to want to have an unlimited text plan, too. <laughs> um, this is where everything comes into the system that's going to go to the screen. Um, for example, uh, breaks it down here by type. Whether it was a song, maybe somebody had a song request. Maybe it was a screen message. That's where they all come in here. Then the date that it came in. The cell phone number here, which I've pulled over here, the tab over so you can't see the full cell phone. The message, whether it's a song request or a screen message, um, go in this column. The next column here is requests. If you click on requests, it'll be everything in these three categories, being song, birthday, and guest. You can break them down. You click on song. Here's all your song requests. I love this because when you're out DJing, teen dances, or you're at a bar, nightclub, and you got that cool mix going, and then you got another cool mix going, and you got these people coming over in between your mixes and screwing you up, it kind of sucks sometimes. I mean, it's cool to have the one-on-one -on -one interaction and everything, but this will make it ten times easier. All they have to do is text the word song and then their request to the system, and you can... Uh, 
just look at your computer and see what the request was. Birthday, same thing. You know, after you do one birthday at an event, uh, you always have 15 more. You know, my sister's girlfriend's cousin's brother's nephew's having one now. Can you do it? Yes. All you have to do is text the word birthday and then your birthday request to us. Guest is for new time guests to the system or to your club or whatever it may be. They can text the word guest and whatever their message is to you. Voting, I believe, is the same as trivia for the most part. Voting, for example, over here you would title it, example, who's your favorite DJ? Keyword being uh, text the word DJ and then your vote. So I text the word DJ and then I type in who my favorite DJ is. And you can put those on the screen here on display, whether it's, uh, you know, Num text the word one or text the word uh, DJ and the number one for DJ Bo, the number two for DJ Phil, the number three for DJ Mac, or you can just type their their DJ names in there. So that's voting in a nutshell, and it breaks it all down down here as well. Uh, it'll give you like a bar graph of who's winning and the total number of votes and who it came from, the users it came from, and so forth. Kind of cool. Text info. You may have heard this. This is the next tab on radio stations. Uh, where they say text the word uh, nightlife to 55876 and you can uh, get a text blast back of all the cool night spots and what's happening, uh, the coolest places to be and so forth. I use this for um, bridal shows, you can use it for um, bar gigs when you know text the word beer special or text the word beer and you get all the specials uh, or text the word um, save money uh, and you show the text message that you get back from us to the bartender and you get a free drink or whatever it may be trivia like i said i believe that's the same as voting lottery's cool anybody that ever text messages the system you automatically get their cell phone number obviously and it's stored into the user accounts which i'll show you that in a moment and you're at an event Maybe you have 10,000 people in your software, 10,000 users. You need to pick five winners that are going to win two backstage passes to see Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow. We did that the other day. Um, so all you do is you go to lottery, you set it up, and boom, you hit it, and it will automatically pick out from all 10,000 user accounts five winners for you. And it will automatically send them back a text message. They bring that up to you or bring it into the DJ uh, to the DJ area or the customer service area and you give me your tickets, you know, whatever it is. Balk SMS, I'm getting ready to do this. Actually, I'm doing it right now as we speak. It's sending them. Uh, we have a big gig today at Connie Lake Park. I'm sending info out to every user I have in this area uh, about what's going on here today. So that'll be kind of cool, which we'll have a video on that a little later too. The outbox is everything you've sent out. Um, I have nothing pending. Here's all the actual messages that I have sent out myself. Here's all my user accounts. It gives them an ID number. That's the ID number that you'll see on the screen unless you change that to their nickname that you'd like to see on the screen instead. Templates, um, we'll get to that as that slowly loads. Templates is the graphic that you see on the screen. You can uh, be very creative with all your graphics. Um, you can, like I said, you can put uh, advertisements on the screen and so forth to make extra money. Uh, I have quite a few graphics here, as you can see, for different events that I do. There's bars, there's teen dances, and so forth. I know you can't really see the graphic itself, but there you go. They're all in there. Up here at the top, I'm running out of time, so i got to do this fast. Under Preferences, we have the General tab. There's a lot of different uh, selections here. I'm not going to go over all of them, but uh, just a couple quick things. If you want to not send every message that comes to the software right to the screen you can make it so that you are the one that approves all messages that go to the screen all new members that send messages to the screen uh, or to your software you can give them a reply back um, that tells them what's going on or your website or whatever it may be or the drink special going on that day the next tab is display this is how fast uh, everything scrolls on the screen and so forth uh, you can also uh, type in a message here, and it'll automatically go to the screen itself, not to every user, but just to the screen. Um, under device, that's obviously being your cell phone. You set it up here, and you scan, and then you test your ports and everything to make sure that it works. 
rules. It's where you set up, for example, text the word song, and then your request to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Filters. Uh, these are importable and exportable too. Sometimes you want to use filters for bars, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you want to use every single filter in the world uh, at teen dances, obviously, so that you don't get any bad words that go to the screen. You do uh, import all of them. Um, and you can import and export users and everything. So there you go. I ran out of time. That's fire text in a nutshell. Leave your comments, uh, questions, and so forth below. I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.